Hello there fellows, I'm back with another video and today we're talking about that giant hovercraft on my left. So in the previous episode we've done this one and it's uh, I decided it is way too small so I've gone for something a little bit bigger um, which is this thing. Uh, well, it's not just a little bit bigger, actually it's about six times bigger and um, it looks quite nice. So today I'll be showing it to you. Uh, so let's start with the outside shape. Uh, so and I'm, I'm gonna show you all the uh, rooms and stuff like that. So first of all here we have a command cabin. Uh, well, for the places for co-pilot and pilot, we've got um, engine room one and engine room two. We've got uh, passenger room one, passenger room two. We've got the hangar, which is used for uh, housing uh, big stuff, probably. And on the back here, we've got some weird-looking uh, props and engines. So let's get to it. First of all, we're gonna start in this cabin here. We've got a clock here, and we've got the seats. Uh, nothing special actually. Uh, then uh, it goes up here, with the redstone, and uh, the lights are flashing uh, on the bottom as well. And uh, yeah. Uh, after that, we've got engine room one, engine room two. Uh, in here, we've got diesel power generators for uh, keeping this bad boy um, above the ground. Uh, so, if we turn them on, uh, they, they're just pistons and they work like engines. So, it's the same on this side. And uh, they provide electricity for uh, for the props that uh, provide air uh, for the cushion of air on the bottom under the skirt so the, there's a total of uh, eight of them and uh, they are uh, mounted in pairs so we've got a pair here so this is this is a uh, this is a um, what do you call it? A, a prop with an electric engine, uh, and this is the air intake, and it's the same here. I don't know why this was blocked, and uh, they provide air for the front here, and then we've got uh, we've got two here. Same things, and uh, these are just. Uh, uh, just chimneys to um, put the smoke out of engine rooms, uh, out of the engines, and uh, after that we've got two here as well. They are uh, almost exactly the same, and uh, two more on the back side here, and uh, that makes a total of eight. And uh, that's for keeping it off the ground. And uh, when you keep it off the ground, you wanna, you know, move it somewhere. Otherwise, there's no point. So um, for that, we've got three engines. Uh, for some of you, that doesn't seem like a lot, but if you look at them, they're quite huge. And uh, we've got two main ones for just for pushing forwards. Uh, with big uh, 5 meter um, props, actually 10 meter props and then we've got a smaller one, this is a 8 meter prop and it's got um, two rudders on it so with this one we can steer the beast and uh, just you know move it around so it's just uh, located in a, in a um, Aluminium, what do you say, a frame um, protection uh, and uh, 
it gives uh, it uh, channels air in inside, so it has more um, it's more efficient. So after that, we've got uh, let's see, we have done this, and now we can move to this. So these are the passenger rooms, just for uh, keeping passengers alive and happy. And uh, there's one here as well. And after that, we can move forwards. And this is the last room. It's uh, a warehouse, just for uh, stuff that needs trans the need transportation to distant uh, islands or uh, or stuff like that. So places that are not easy to access, basically. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, hope you liked my giant uh, hovercraft. Um, I think they exist. Maybe not so big, but they exist. And, um, yeah, um, please uh, like and subscribe this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, and, uh, well, what can I say? Thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.